I'm Dan, I'm the founder of a business called Sessions, which won a bid for a great building down here in Brighton called Shelter Hall, which is where we are today, which is a food hall that brings together all of the best of Brighton under one roof, be that great food, drink or entertainment. Sessions is the, the business that is the umbrella for a number of different food halls that we launch. We're also looking at various other business models. So we're just launching an online marketplace this weekend to complement the offering we have here. But hopefully this is the, the first example of what we can do in terms of bringing the best of a city into to one space. We don't brand anything Sessions Market. We brand things according to the locality. So it's really important for us to have authenticity in the markets we go into, make sure that every brand we work with is a local brand and that we're celebrating what the, the market has to offer. So I was previously the managing director of Deliveroo and uh, started there very early on, about six or so years ago, so when it was a fledgling business and helped to build that up. And in building that up, obviously, we saw uh, a lot of consumption moving online. And uh, so while in that business, I had a good think about what was the role of the, the physical world now that mass market consumption had moved through businesses like Ricardo, Amazon, Deliveroo to the online. And uh, we felt, myself and uh, my business partner, that there was an opportunity to bring something that's a lot more experiential to customers so bringing brands at the point of conception so when they're first starting out and you can hear about their stories and then hear about the provenance of their products and, and really what they're all about um, so we wanted to put something together that reflected this this new world customers now also seem to like a lot of flexibility a lot of choice they want to know that if they come to a venue they're not necessarily signing up for one menu but there are a lot of different options for them and uh, that's what we have here. We've got six different brands on site and uh, lots of great local beer as well. So choice is certainly the mainstay of, of what we offer here at Shelter Hall, but also, as I said, authenticity. So making sure it's genuinely reflective of the local market. We're not seeking to build a homogenized mass market brand in the long term. We want each of our local food halls to feel as though they are a reflection of the microcosm that is the local market. The benefit of using Good Eats is both the customer impact, so ensuring that they have the very best seamless experience, but also the impact on the commercial decisions we take as a company by getting the insight into customer behavior. So the first is more important. You've got to ensure that experience for customers is flawless. And it increasingly through Good Eats, that is a, a flawless experience that we can offer them. And in part that's been to do with how collaborative and nimble the team at Good Till have been in developing the technology alongside us, which has been really helpful. And then on the Insight side, likewise, they've been fabulous when it's come to putting in place the tracking that we need in terms of being able to see from when we attempt to acquire a customer through perhaps paid online channels all the way through to their ultimate consumption and the transaction through the technology, we can see that entire journey, which is hugely beneficial to us. We've done really well so far. Performance has been great. I think we benefited from being in Brighton, which has been a, one of the major staycation destinations in the UK. So that's helped obviously down here you get quite a few tourists. But the encouraging thing is this is also very much a locals destination. So we see that in the customer retention, the proportion of individuals who come back again is extremely high. It's about 23% which for any hospitality business is really encouraging, especially one that's in a, a tourist-centric area where Shelter Hall is placed. So that's been really, really strong. Obviously, we're coming into winter now, so we'll see how the performance looks as there is less tourist support, but we're very optimistic based on the amount of locals that have been enthusiastic about the product. We planned for Shelter Hall ahead of the, the COVID, the initial COVID lockdowns in spring. And uh, the fortunate thing for us is that many 
components of Shelter Hall are well conditioned already for a COVID environment. So firstly, as you can see, we've got a large outdoor area. And uh, as we know, sitting outside does lower the, um, the rate of, of COVID infection. So we've had in the summer, this deck completely full. It's not quite as nice a day now, and it is the morning, but generally speaking, it's been very busy out here. But also inside the, the nature of the proposition in being highly flexible, um, in being able to come take your food elsewhere if you want to, um, in being in a, a large airy space where we can easily distance the tables. All of that's been well conditioned to a COVID environment. And then importantly, we always intended on uh, driving the majority of our orders through technology, which we're doing through the Good Eats web tech platform, which has been uh, fabulous, um, but also has really benefited us in a period where it has been recommended by the government that customers do order online in order to um, make it more frictionless and um, I suppose ensure lesser interaction, um, close interaction with other people. So that's also worked well for us. We had the chance because we built this over six weeks during lockdown to put in place some infrastructural components that, that really helped. So we have screens throughout inside that we built with design in mind as well as health and safety in mind, which is helpful. So rather than having a kind of retrofit plastic screens in the space, we were able to build things from scratch that actually work with, with reverence to the historic nature of the building. So that's also helped us. So actually we found that coming into what's been an extremely challenging climate for everyone, um, we have had something of an advantage in that we were able to build from scratch with that in mind. The data reporting has really helped because we run a venue which has multiple restaurant partners whereby we need to have visibility across the whole piece, not just the component that we operate, which is the bar. And uh, their reporting tech allows us a view across that whole piece and an aggregated view as we need in order to report back to shareholders, etc. Um, but also the, uh, the fact that we have the, the customer ordering technology and the fact that 70% of our transactions have been through that technology allows us reporting around customer behavior. So we get to see when customers return. We get to see cohorts of customers in a given month and uh, how likely they are or not to return. And we can start to play back what we did in a given month and associate what we did with that customer performance, which is extremely helpful and something that across hospitality traditionally wasn't widely available. So. Certainly, I would encourage any other restaurant business to, to think about how they can get that level of visibility and to think about whether Good Till might be the right partner to be able to provide that to them. Future plans for Sessions Market, as I said before, this is site one. This is an opportunity for us to, to learn and develop and nail our execution. Beyond this, we have a number of other sites in mind. We're targeting uh, suburban and regional markets. So we've always wanted to go after towns where we can be a focal point and uh, we can help to place make a community. And so we'll continue to attempt to do that. But also we want to develop relationships with landlords and, and help on broader developments where we can become central to those and help to, to drive the right kind of consumer for them. Sessions chose Good Till because firstly they have in our mind the strongest web ordering technology in the market. Secondly we chose them because of their agility and their willingness to develop their technology alongside us. And then thirdly we chose them because of the relationships we have with them and their willingness to, to dive in and get scrappy where necessary which is of huge value when you're running a startup from scratch.